In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a VR experience or even just a draft to your iOS platform, to an iPhone. Open your project, go to File and Build Settings. And first, what you would want to do is to switch a platform. So here, in our case, we switch to an iOS. If you cannot find this platform or any other platform you are deploying to, it means that you forgot to add it when you installed Unity. So to add it, you just need to go to your installer, Unity installer file and run the installation one more time. You can deselect everything you don't need, everything you already installed and only select the platform you need and it will be installed. We selected iOS and click switch platform. I'd recommend to do it at the very beginning of your VR development because it may take some time. So each time you switch the platform it recompiles everything. My scene is not even interactive, it's just a draft I want to see in VR and it still takes some time. I will fast forward. And we are done. Next, you will want to add a scene. Here you can add open scenes. I only have one scene, so here we see it appeared. And next we will check player settings. So click player settings. Right now you can see that since we switched to an iOS, we are viewing the settings for iOS. Below in other settings, you would want to enable virtual reality supported. Click here. And you would need to select a virtual reality SDK. You click on the plus sign and select cardboard. Then scroll down. And under identification, you will find bundle identifier. You can see that it looks like a URL, but backwards. So you would need to type in your company name and product name. But if you don't have, it's not, if it's not a company, you can just create some name, some project name for you, but fill it out completely. So for example, in my case, I will do com.vroxygen. Let's name it. VR world world iOS and that's it you don't really need you don't have to specify anymore you can leave the rest as it is and let's build first so here you can build and you can build and run build if you click build you will create an Xcode file and if you click build and run you will be able to run this file on your device and save it to your device. Let's do build first. Click on it. It will open the project folder and here it's a usual practice that you would create a build folder to keep everything organized. So I will create new folder and call it build. We will save it to our, into our new folder and we name it VR World iOS. And save. As usual, it may take some time to be done. The build is ready and we can check. You will notice that inside our our build folder we have now VR World iOS folder with all the files. Unity iPhone Xcode project is the file that you would open in 
Xcode and build from there. I want to show you what you may experience if you build and run from Unity, especially if you are not a trusted developer yet, if you didn't deploy any iOS apps to your iPhone. Let's go back and click build and run. So it directs again to the project folder, to our build folder. And in our case, I will just click OK and replace the file. And here you can see that build failed. Let's check what's the problem. Next, it will open the Xcode. And here we can see Unity iPhone. By the way, make sure that your iPhone is connected to your computer via USB. You can check it also here in the left corner. There should be your iPhone name. You can click on Unity iPhone. So here you can see that it requires a development team. That's why it's important to have an Apple ID and to be signed in when you are building for iOS. We go to signing, team, and just select your team or just yourself uh, in the in drop down. You will see the your email address, the one you typed in, will appear here. Another important detail is that you should go to build settings and check that enable bitcode is set to no. If it's set to yes, uh, by default, you can just open the dropdown and select no, because it may cause errors. Once everything done, go and click on this arrow that looks like a, like a play button and wait to build it. When it's almost ready, you will receive a pop-up that says code sign wants to access key access in your keychain. Uh, you may click always allow, but in my case, I will just click allow. So it will allow an access for this time. And build succeeded, you saw. So now it's installing the file to my iPhone. And here you get one more pop-up. Could not launch VR World, World iOS. Verify the developer app certificate for your account is trusted on your device. And here is an instruction right here. Click OK, of course. Let's check it all on the iPhone. Once you try to launch your app on your iPhone, you may receive this pop-up if you are not a trusted developer yet. And you would need to follow the instruction we got in Xcode. Go to settings. general and look for profiles and device management. Here you will see your developer app, your email address. By the way, you should be connected to the network, to internet when doing this. Otherwise, it may not work. And here just click verify app. And now, since it was verified, I can finally watch it on my iPhone. Now just add the cardboard and you can check it in VR. From my experience, I can say that building for iOS requires to be more precise with the code. Android is less picky, so even if you have some minor errors, you can still build your scene and uh, check some interactions or colors scales, etc. On iOS, you should check everything twice. <laughs> you just make sure that it contains no error. Thank you for watching everyone. It was Nina sharing with you how to build to your iOS device. Make sure to like the video and to subscribe to not skip the next episodes. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to explore more. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you soon on the VR Oxygen channel. Bye for now.